I want to talk about an important topic that a lot of you have um, had questions on, and so we'd like to clarify them. Um, this part of it, I want to show you how to use the sweepers and how to assign the sweepers and how the whole sweeper system works. Basically, the sweeper is some sort of drop, um, mostly without you know music or noise behind it, just maybe a voice or some sort of station ID that goes over a transition. So when two songs are transitioning, while they're crossfading, the sweeper can play, or it can play any time in the song, um, to kind of just liven up the station and make it feel um, uh, just seamless and, and professional. So the first part of setting up the sweepers in Nextcast is you need to drag and drop your sweeper files into this little uh, little text box here. So you can just drag it from anywhere in your uh, on your computer, any song that you have, I mean, any drop you have anywhere. You just drag and drop it into this and it'll be added on. Um, so once that's done, you'll notice here on my rotation side, there's a sweeper check mark, okay? What that means is when I have this checked, that means that when that transition happens from this song to that song, a sweeper from up here will play. Now, there are a couple of things to know about the check marks up here as well. These check marks, if I check mark maybe those three files, what will happen is Nextcast will automatically rotate through those sweepers. So each time there's a transition and the sweeper is checked here, the the sweep one of these sweepers will play and it will advance to the next sweeper. Um, there's also what we call a default sweeper. So when you click and highlight any of these sweepers and you click it here and it says the, the sweeper name here, that means that is the default sweeper for that particular time. And so whenever one of these is checked and the sweeper is checked, then that particular sweeper will play if none others are checked. Again, if they are checked in this top list, what's going to happen is they're going to rotate through and change every time an another transition happens. Now, let me go a little bit further here. Uh, I want to show you um, how you can um, mark a track to do a sweeper. So this part here, um, you can put custom sweepers to every song. You can also mark all the tracks um, the way you need it, but um, for this video, I'm just going to go over the sweeper part um, And I'll probably touch on the next start So let's say I have this song here, and I want a sweeper to play at a certain point What I need to do is highlight the song and press preview song and that one Okay, so then now I have this song previewing and you can notice I have this one assigned already so this one is assigned to secret sweep and then I can check my or select my drop down and I can select from all the sweepers I have in the system. So I'll quickly show you how I would mark. Let me find a song that has no sweeper. Okay, that song has no sweeper, so we'll do it on this one. So I'll preview it. Although actually what I prefer is you select this one of these and sometimes it looks like you have to hold down this drop box for it to to populate. But I'm going to select secret sweep. That's the one I want. I'm going to play and then as soon as I get to the point where I want the sweeper to be marked, I press this, I right, uh, left click on the mouse there, and you'll notice that little marker there. So what that means is every tom time that song plays, whether there's a default sweeper selected or not, and the sweeper is checked here, that particular secret sweep will play over the transition, or it'll play actually right at 4.8 seconds of the track. So that's basically how the sweepers work. Um, in addition, I just want to quickly talk about Next Start. So let's go with just another song here. So if I go through here and I, I preview this song, I can set where the song, the next song will start. So let's say, you know, I feel that this is a good time for it to crossfade. I can just click here again and you'll notice that it'll mark the next start there at 4.125 seconds and there's a little green mark there on the end um, and that will allow you to kind of shrink your songs now a little 
pointer here on the next start part of it. If you go to settings and um, you see this auto trim, if auto trim is enabled, what Nextcast will do is every time it lo loads a song into the player, it will look for this mi minus uh, 50 dB threshold and it will set the next start exactly there. So it'll automatically trim out the silence at the end. So, you know, depending on how detailed you are, you may not need to um, check the next start for the songs that you, you want to use. But I wanted to show you how you can set that. So, again, thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions, you can contact us. Go to nextcast.com. Our support number and our email are on there. Thanks for watching.